Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, agents. I am Manny Curl, and I am here for the midweek Happy Tuesday news break. I got a lot of constructive comments on my State of the Game recap that basically said I made a 12-minute video talking about nothing. That is correct. Bet you're glad that I didn't take and make a 40-minute stream on Twitch talking about nothing. Aren't you glad? Let's get into the news. So since I talked about nothing, I thought I would go ahead and talk about the real news that is in this game right now. Things from the world of Division and things right now are pretty crazy, so let's go ahead and jump right into them. With Massive having ETF Charlie, apparently no one was manning the Twitter account or the forum, so players were a bit peeved that they felt that Massive wasn't hearing their bug reports, glitch reports, and all the other nonsense that they bring to the forums. That's right, Massive was busy trying to make the game better by speaking to their team of social media influencers. They invited to be an ETF Charlie that they did not respond to anyone's inquiry until Yannick got a chance to post this message on May 25th. Yeah, I know it's a bit of a bit of old news, but it, it's an acknowledgement from Massive, so let's go ahead and get into it. Hey guys, I just seen a lot of comments regarding our lack of acknowledgement of the issues that showed up with update 1.6.1. Just wanted to take the time to come here and let you know that while we are indeed in a bit of a rough spot this week in terms of communication resources available, you are not being ignored and the issues are being forwarded and investigated. This week is just an unfortunate accumulation that puts stress on the community team. A new update coming out on the very week we are hosting ETF and one of our CMs transitioned Positioning to the new position makes us hard makes it hard for us to provide clear visibility to you guys. With the limited resources available at the moment, we are prioritizing the gathering of all bugs that are being reported and making sure that they're being for, uh, forwarded to the devs, even if it means we spend a little less time giving feedback to you guys. Apologies for the lack of reactivity, but be sure that we are fully aware of your feedback on the new issues that came with this update. Yannick, this of course was met with disdain from the community and pretty much an angry mob within the forums to which Yannick followed up with as I said above while we haven't been very vocal about the issues because the community team is not fully available right now the rest of the dev team is working on fixing these issues my goal with this post was not to come up with an announcement on a fixing part just to let you know that your reports are not being ignored since this is just news I will bite my tongue and not comment about this and just move on it's the news not the weather it doesn't need an editorial. Now, we'll move into this week's glitch news, and boy howdy do we have a few glitches for you that are currently being exploited by several players inside the Dark Zone, as well as a damage glitch for you that people are using currently. First, if you head to Midtown Manhattan, you'll find players hanging out inside Midtown Music where they previously weren't able to do before. And no, they aren't taking music lessons. Rogues do not enjoy music as previous reported. That was a mistake and redacted. They are actually glitched through the wall using a technique that was once used in the DZ-1 extraction point to get inside of the large shipping container so that people couldn't see you. You go into cover on this wall here and then take cover and move, do a cover to cover move to the next and move along the wall. You'll notice that your little man, if you keep moving along the wall, will eventually be inside the building. You will, however, get teleported outside if you leave cover. Currently, rogues are using this to run off timers and make it difficult for players to hit them. With Massive's commitment to fix items during interim patches and not just during the big numbered patches, it should be fixed fairly quickly, wink wink lols. Next up, we in double damage digit news, we actually have several agents that have been spotted using a damage glitch using a marksman rifle, an SMG, and incendiary rounds. Sources have, close to us have said that when the incendiary rounds are loaded into the marksman rifle, one should switch over to the SMG and you will now hit for two times the normal damage. This is most notable when the damage is a critical hit and players are hitting for over 30,000 damage on an SMG crit hit. Luckily with Massive making a commitment to fix these larger issues during the regular weekly patches instead of the larger ones which are numbered 1.7 wink wink nudge nudge lols we should be seeing a patch for this as well in the coming weeks. 
In addition to the above glitch, in combination with a certain fiery gear set, it is unconfirmed whether you could potentially hit for four times the amount of damage. Sources close to the division say that if you do use the four-piece fire crest in combination with this, the damage could be upwards of four times, making it potentially the most powerful SMG DPS build in the game until they come out with a fix, which should be prior to 1.7, as Massive has continually said they will not wait until the major numbered patches to implement fixes for this issue and they will be doing it during the regular maintenance patches that are weekly finally we have reports of a deadly outbreak in the dark zone and last stand game mode that is killing numerous players initial death toll numbers are still rising and are unconfirmed at this moment what is confirmed though is that this disease which is named the seeker flu has so far killed off more people than the actual dollar flu division agents were set to clean up after mass the company has initially developed a cure but decided it was not deadly enough to warrant their full resources and attention. The initial cure, which was released in 1.6.1, was only a small dose issued to agent that cured a common side effect called stagger. Side effects that remain from this new seeker flu are balls in your face, bright flashes of light, and painful burning sensation. Officials are saying that this seeker flu is being spread by those DPS players which are calling this the skill is skill build. We'll follow up with more important updates as they hit the news desk. That has been the Division News for week 6-6. Six, six. We thank you all for watching, and if you enjoyed tonight's newscast, drop a like, share the video, and subscribe to our channel. Unlike Comcast and other major channel cable providers, we don't charge you a monthly fee, nor do we sell your information. For all of us here at the Division News, I'm Mountie Curl. Good night, and good luck, Division agents.